Yeah, Keith and Jimmy, I know last Friday night we were hoping to find fans in the stands dressed up in their Halloween costumes, but that didn't really pan out. Even though now it's November, since Halloween was yesterday, we were hoping maybe we'd find fans in their costumes tonight. Here in Winfield, though, instead of dressing up in costumes, the theme in the student section is camo night. And looking in the stands, I can't even see anybody. It looks like nobody showed up. You know what? Fear in the farm in Winfield is just a little down the road. Let's go check in with them and see how they're doing. <laughs> Fear on the farm in Winfield open tonight and tomorrow for folks who are not ready to say goodbye to Halloween just yet. Dinner served. I know it's been unseasonably warm this October. Does that help you guys or do you wish it was a little bit cooler since you guys have to wear so much stuff? Do you all really root for the generals? Do you listen to them on the radio in between scaring people? I root for anybody that supports Halloween. It gives everybody one last chance to come through. Lee Jordan is the owner. I know a lot of people on Friday nights go out to support their teams. Do you get a lot of people coming in once the games wrap up or maybe a few who leave in the second half a little early? Absolutely. We have them that travel in from other teams and then we have the Winfield Generals are always here. We support them as well and I think it's wonderful. I like your mask. That's the face I made when I found out I was going to have to be in the Eastern Panhandle on election night. And for folks who are just too busy during football season to make it out to stuff like this, after this weekend, Fear at the Farm will be open one more time, December 13th and 14th, for what they are calling a Krampus Carol. Keith and Jimmy, back to you.